Hey, what's up everybody? So today I wanna to cover two things, my worries about Forge and my excitement about Forge and Halo Infinite. Just like the game itself, it's been delayed essentially a year. Uh, season three is when it comes out. And a lot of people have reached out to me saying, dude, what are you gonna do? You're called Infinite Forges. Like Forge is delayed for a year. What's, it's like Armageddon, right? But the reality is not really. I would say my only concern, which I'll get into in a moment, is really not that big compared to to the excitement and really the potential of its release because if you think about it halo as a live service game there's content there's a roadmap of content that the company has produced to be able to keep the fan base uh, alive and interested now although the delay is certainly a bummer i will say that since it's a live service model and they're trying to go for multiple years. I'm not sure if it's gonna be essentially 10 years or not, but I do believe that they are very certain on, on producing content and producing um, storytelling and whatnot through the campaign for, for several years to come. I do believe that, and I hope it is 10 years. But we're talking nine months, right? And Halo 5 was two months when it came to Forge. And that was a long time. But I will say now that since it's almost a year, people are like, man, this game's gonna die, people are gonna fall off, the player base is not gonna be there when Forge comes. But I tend to disagree, although that is my worry. If there's any worry at all, it is that the player base won't be there. I tend to believe that when Forge comes out, that the resurgence of players will be massive because I do know some of the people that are working on Forge at 343 and these guys are incredibly talented. They're working very hard and they're producing something of quality. That's why it was delayed. There's probably certain things that it just aren't working right. And to be patient with those people and to allow them to do their best work is the most essential thing that we could do and to respect that time is is a wonderful thing to do. Um, of course, it's upsetting that it's not there at launch. I'm not justifying that. However, I am saying that the product that we will get, I'm confident, is going to be something that will produce serious longevity for this game long term. Patience is a virtue. And although, like I said, it is upsetting, I do believe that the amount of custom games, the amount of creative individuals that will come out of the woodworks to create levels and to create layouts that will probably find themselves in matchmaking and the rotations will just exponentially grow uh, will be an incredible resurgence in only season three for infinite so in my eyes especially as the guy that has centered all his branding went out around forge i'm not really that concerned i'm more excited than anything because until then we have custom games we have multiplayer that is being refined and changed and updated currently relatively quickly actually very quickly by the devs uh, right after thanksgiving break and you gotta you gotta respect that i mean they're hustling to really make this game everything that it can be and i'm not going to pretend like i know all the ins and outs of what's going on behind the scenes because i don't and i do believe that they are though doing the best that they can to produce a well-polished game and experience for us uh, come december 8th and they're devoted to that for come the coming years so I just see Forge as an opportunity, especially in the live service realm, to bring back an incredible amount of people and to really spice up the entire matchmaking experience. This, this game is gonna blow up when Forge comes out. I really do believe that. Some people can probably combat me with the argument that no, this is just gonna be another Halo 5 where essentially a lot of the player base is gonna fall off and they're not going to return because even if forge is incredible it's it's too complicated to understand and it's not going to be something that um, engages and captures a, a larger audience however what i do think they're going to do this time around is because of all the feedback and criticism that halo 5 got although the forge was incredible they will probably enable some type of um i wouldn't say like a beginner's but like a simplified ui for forge and an advanced UI for Forge. And I believe if they do that, it gives everyone a chance to create. And I believe that would be a focus simply just based off of the feedback that Halo 5 got. And if you're looking at 343's track record as of recently, uh, you know, the past year or so, they have really listened to feedback and they value what the community says. So with that being said, I do believe that this is gonna be more, um, more people are gonna 
be accepting of this forge because I do believe that it's going to have more accessibility, uh, just like many other parts of the game itself. So that's one reason why I think it's not going to be like a Halo 5 situation, and I think the player base is going to come back. And the other reason is because of the fact that Halo 5 did not have the core fundamentals of a game as strong as Infinite. Infinite is insane. It is incredibly fun. There are so many things to love about it, and people are going to be playing this game for years and years to come, especially once the progression gets fixed, which, like I said just moments ago, they're actively working on that, and it looks like it's really heading in the right direction. So um, that's why I think Forge is going to be nothing more than just a massive resurgence, and I cannot wait to cover all the creations that you guys make. I can't wait to make them myself, and it's honestly just a very exciting time. Yeah, we, we, we've got months to wait, I understand, but I've got nothing but respect and patience for the people over at 343 doing what they got to do to produce the most polished version of this forge that they can, and um, yeah, it, 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 I've just got hope and I'm excited and, and all of that. You know, let's, let's lean a little bit more on positivity. The devs need that. They work very hard. <laughs> so uh, that's it for today's video. Let me know what you think about my thoughts. What are your thoughts? Leave them in the comments below, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.